Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called Firestarter. It's based on a novel by Stephen King. It stars David Keefe, Drew Barrymore, Freddie Jones, Heather Locklear, Martin Sheen, George C. Scott, Art Carney, Louise Fletcher, Moses Gunn, and Antonio Fargas. And it's directed by Mark L. Lester from Class of 1984, Commando, and many others. The movie begins set in a flashback in college. Annie McGee, played by David Keefe, had met his future wife, Bicky, played by Heather Locklear, while they're earning money by participating in an experiment given a dose of a chemical known as LOT6. Later on, Annie and Bicky have went on to get married and now have a nine-year-old daughter named Charlene Charlie McGee, who's played by Drew Barrymore, who has a gift known as parokinesis, which is the ability to start fires in her mind as a result of the experiment that they both have. Of course, the experiment also gave Annie the ability to make people to do whatever they want in his mind. Meanwhile, a secret government department known as the SHOP did an experiment, and now the SHOP, run by Dr. Joseph Waintless, has been pursuing Annie and Charlie, even killing Bicky in order to get her out, out of the way. Rainless and his organization wanted to study Annie and Charlie and then kill them and the shop has sent a sniper named John Rainbird, played by George C. Scott, to find both of them. But what Rainless and his group underestimate is what Annie and Charlie are willing to do to protect each other. Well, I did remember watching this film when I was a little kid. It aired on HBO when we had cable back then. I haven't seen it since until I saw the review a long time ago by uh, Cisco Niebuhr and I figured I, I did remember seeing this before because I remember the, that scene alone. Since then I haven't seen it until Encore last aired the film. I saw it again on this year as we last rented the film. I now have a copy now. It's cool. It's a very good film. This movie had amazing special effects with all these fire flames going around and a lot, lots of explosions and you know, fireballs shooting up everything. Something I never expected to see from the mind of a little girl. And Drew Barrymore was very young back then. Yeah, she was like at that age when this movie was made. This was after her earlier role in E.T., The Extraterrestrial, where she played Gertie in that role. So this was, of course, her second role after that. But that was very good. I think she did a very good job playing that role. Uh, they had a big cast in this film, including David Keefe as her father, you know, Andy. Great. He did a very excellent job. Also, um, Martin Sheen, as well as George C. Scott, two fine legendary actors. You know, They're very good. This was the kind of film that Steve was really going up for. But the sad part was, from what I heard, the movie didn't do quite as well when it first came out. But I think it was just the idea of what, what the story was going. But they're trying to find their ways to protect each other from all the villains that they had in the film. You know, known as the shop. Also, it had a wonderful, beautiful score by composer Tangerian Dream, who went on to do other films, including Legend and many others. And it does have that dreamy feel to it, because back in the 80s, there were a lot of synthesizers, scores just like that one. It was so mesmerizing to hear. So, kudos to them. They also made a sequel to this. But it's not nearly as good as this one. And I believe it's a very good book. I really enjoyed it. 
it's not a bad film. It's not a great film. But I think it's definitely worth checking out if you get a chance. So anyway, I give Firestarter three stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.